We can't do life alone. Try as we might to make it work. As human beings, we are not made for isolation and independence. We all certainly have varying levels of need for connection and relationships, but we all have some level of need. One of the ways this gets expressed in scripture, like in our scripture for today, is in the call to follow and support our leaders. The writer of Hebrews lifts up the leaders of their congregation three times in our short passage today. First, calling on the people to remember their leaders and to imitate their faith after considering the fruit of their lives. Then they call on the people to submit to their leaders so that the leader's responsibility for the people is a joy and not a burden. And lastly, the writer puts out a prayer request for the leaders so that they might be restored to them in presence and fellowship. While blind following is not the prescription in this passage, after consideration of the leader's ministry is given and found to be fruitful, the people are encouraged to follow. Why? Because the alternative is what we often see today, where we all believe that we can do it better on our own, that if the leader makes a decision or even shares an opinion that we disagree with, that it's grounds to stop working with them, both inside and outside the church. But our call as disciples is to look beyond our opinions to the fruit produced for the kingdom of God. And when we find fruitfulness, to do what we can to participate in that good fruit.